Doc Ryan Rippo. Well, thanks a lot, Nancy. You know, this is obviously a behemoth of an opponent yeah. who the Nets face tonight. And, and Brooklyn, desperate for wins right now, desperate to find a rhythm and to start to develop that chemistry with healthy pieces. But the fact of the matter is they went up against what has been the best team in the NBA this season, and the Bucks looked like the best team in the NBA tonight. And when it comes to Milwaukee, it's not just one end of the floor. It's not just certain aspects of the game, top to bottom. They dominate in all areas, and they have been rolling through opponents. Credit to Brooklyn. They started the game off strong, and even in that first half, they shot well from the three-point line. They were moving the basketball well, getting some quality looks, and doing everything they they could to try and slow down Milwaukee. No one really got off but Giannis, and they were still in some ways keeping him in check. But you said it, the Bucks are just an absolute handful and really started to open things up there in the second half, especially with the Nets not able to be as efficient on the offensive side. And we know the offensive side is where the Nets have struggled over the last couple of months. It coincided, of course, with Irving and Levert going down, but we saw it in the fourth quarter against Philadelphia. We saw it tonight against a good defensive team in Milwaukee. Sarah, the Nets, we know, they shoot a lot of threes, but they have not shot it at a good percentage this season. They're 28th in the NBA. How do they reconcile their style of play with the fact that they have been a poor shooting team throughout this season? It's give and take, and I don't think there's an easy answer to this because the last thing you want to do is take confidence away from your team in terms of still taking those three-point shots. I think this game, as an example, we saw stretches where they would go four, five, six possessions in a row of taking three-point shots, and it's about mixing and balancing things in, and especially a defense like Milwaukee. you got to keep them on, your to on their toes. So so whether it's the penetration, trying to draw some fouls, trying to get to the basket and insert that with some three-point shots, but just having a feel for the game and the tempo of the game. And I think a another aspect of Milwaukee being the fastest-paced team in the NBA, yeah, do the Nets want to play fast? Yeah, they're 10th in the league, but also sometimes it, it benefits them when they slow things down just a little bit. So I think just having an understanding of when to keep taking those three-point shots and when even if you got a, a good look shot when it may be smart to try and attack, try to get on the inside and trying to mix things up more than just a steady dose of three-point looks. See if the Nets can find the right balance on Monday afternoon when they take on the Sixers and look to end what is now a three-game losing streak as we send it back to you guys in the studio.